Um Ahmad says, a lot of the Hanafi scholars say that the majority of scholars of schools of thought say that wiping over normal socks is not permissible. It's only permissible to wipe over socks made of leather. And they say that only Bin Baz, Bin Uthaymeen and Albani say otherwise. Is that true? Probably, yes. But not everything that the four schools of thought say is a must to follow. Allah Azza wa did not mention the four schools of thought in the Quran or in the Sunnah. Rather, he mentioned Quran and Sunnah. So, Sheikh bin Baz, Ibn Uthaymeen, and Sheikh al-Albani, they are well known to follow the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the favorite three generations, known as the Salaf, al-Salih. And because they do this, we follow them in the sense that we respect all schools of thought. We respect the school of Al-Hanafi, Al-Maliki, Al-Shafi'i, and Al-Hanbali. But at the end of the day, they do not all agree. They have their disagreements. And Allah tells us in the Quran that if ever there is a disagreement, refer back for arbitration to the Quran and the Sunnah. This is what will determine, this is the decider in such disputes and difference of opinion. So when we come to the hadiths of the Prophet ﷺ and how the companions used to wipe over at-tasakhin, things that they wrap around their feet to keep them warm, which was not made of skin or of leather, we understand that wiping over the socks, over the shoes, over al-jarmuq, over al-muq, whatever a person wears on his foot is made permissible in Islam without classification of the material. As long as it sticks on your foot and you wear it as a footwear, then you can wipe over that. If you have any uh, objection to this, you may implement it upon yourself. But you can't force others, you can't push it down their throat that they should accept what these schools of thought say when we follow to the level of, to, to our level uh, best, the Quran, the Sunnah, with the understanding of the Salaf.